Welcome back, friend. We are rocking and rolling through this series. We are on video 10 of our new consultant training series. Tonight, I want to talk about um, income producing activities or IPAs and why they are so important to your business and to really get a handle on understanding the difference and not wasting your time on things that frankly don't matter. So what is an income producing activity? Sensi, as we talked about in the compensation plan earlier, um, a few videos ago, it's hard to keep track now, but we talked about the fact that Sensi pays and recognizes your performance based off of two things, sales and sponsorship. We do not get paid simply off of recruiting. You don't get paid simply when somebody joins your team. You get paid off of sponsoring, meaning you get somebody to join underneath you and then you help them be successful. So when you're looking at what you need to be doing for your business, as you make a task list for yourself and the things that you can do to help yourself be successful, I want you to ask yourself, is this producing income? Is it helping me in the category of sales or is it helping me in the category of sponsoring? If the answer cannot be a clear yes or no, then you need to take pause and decide whether or not it's really worth you putting your time into. Many of us have other jobs. We have other obligations outside of Sensi, right? You're a mother, you're a daughter, you're a wife, a husband, a father, a brother, whatever. And you either have another job or you're a full-time stay-at-home mom taking care of a family and a household. You don't have time for fluff. And so you need to really focus on the things that are going to bring you income and bring you joy at the same time. Because there are things that bring income that I just don't find joy in. So I'm sorry, I'm just not going to do them. So let's talk about some things that you could be doing. So um, partying, okay? We are a party plan company at our core. That is where the volume of your new customers is going to come from. That's where your prospects are going to come from with your recruiting. Parties are where it's at. Now, especially if you're watching this um, at a time when uh, we're in COVID, I don't know when you're watching this, if it's right now as we're recording this, we're in COVID, or if it's going to be two years from now, if we're still in this situation, no one knows. But maybe home parties aren't the way to go. I personally do Facebook parties. That's my jam. I have a whole mock party group on that, and you can find that information in the Ascension group, but it's JoJo's Facebook mock party, and that is that's my guide to you to how to do Facebook parties. They are gold for me and I will never go back. Now you can do bag parties. You could do catalog parties. You can do text parties. There's all kinds of things. Find a style that works for you, but party every month. Try to book parties every month. It's really what's going to catapult your business. Okay. Party, party, party. Follow up. We talked in another video about follow-up systems. It doesn't matter what system you use, but following up with a customer is a surefire way to get in front of them and to make it possible for you to be able to get another sale, right? Um, sampling, but sample with intention, right? Because sampling in and of itself can be considered fluff. Making pretty cute samples and having them sit in your office or in your desk or on your kitchen counter, wherever you work, and not getting them out to your customers isn't going to produce income. The same thing with giving a customer a sample and never following up with that sample, never asking them what they thought when you do your follow-ups is just giving away free product. That's not sampling with intention. So when you sample, sample with intention. Now, I'm not a big believer in wax samples. I usually will only sample wax either at the beginning of a catalog season when we have new releases or with the monthly scent of the month. I do not sample all the things. And my friends, the reason for that is, is that most of my customers, 99% of them are wax and warmer customers. They know wax and warmer. I don't need to sell them on that. I need to get them in the other categories. So I sample those categories so that they get to fall in love with it. We have all kinds of information in the um, Ascension page. There's also a wonderful group on um, Facebook called All About the Samples. You can join that group. Just please make sure that you 
pay particular attention to the group's rules because they want to keep everyone safe. So make sure that you are minding those rules. And then finally, friends, the best income producing activity by far is to offer the opportunity. Okay, hear me out. It is never too early to offer the opportunity. I've said this before, but any leader, ask anyone, and their only regret is going to be that they didn't offer the opportunity sooner and more often. Okay, friends, I want you to remember that your sales are your income for today, but your business partners are your income forever. A good recruit, a good business partner could change your business. Okay. You want to do this with your friends. You want to invite friends and family on this journey with you. When you start building up a business and earning incentives for yourself, it's so much more fun to travel the world with a sensi friend. Um, So it's never too early to start. We as a community will help uplift you and help you be a great sponsor. There are guides for this in the workstation. You do not have to start out exceptional, but you do need to start somewhere. You're never going to be ready. It's kind of like being a parent. You're never going to be ready until you jump all in and you're going to learn certain things as a sponsor that you would never have learned to prepare yourself to be a sponsor. So offering up the opportunity is the very, very best thing you can do for your future income. So if you have any other questions or need more information on income producing activities, please, please, please check out um, your workstation. Please check out the Ascension group. You can even search on YouTube, Sensi income producing activities, and you're going to find a whole list of different topics from making samples to booking fundraisers, dropping off a warmer at a local business for a week for them to try out. All kinds of ideas will come up, but you need to just make sure that when you are working your business and you're setting aside your side, let me try again, you're setting aside your time, you are being intentional about that time that you're spending, that you're not just going into an office and dilly-dallying around and, and messing with things and not focusing your time. Time is precious. And the more focused you are, the more it's going to pay off. Don't manage your time, manage your focus. Focus on the things that matter. Focus on the IPAs, the income producing activities, and your business will flourish. I promise you. I'll catch you in the next video where we are going to talk all about social media do's and don'ts. You're not going to want to miss it.